the one thing about this film is that what got me so excited was that, and I'm still so excited about it, is not only how well it was put together and it wasn't like, you know, okay, part one, part two, you know, just the whole, how it could be very problematic in a way of telling the story, like here are all the facts. It was so engaging. The, and that comes from the directors, that comes from you too, uh, Rebecca and Josh, um, how you, and, and the editor, how you stream the whole thing together. Um, and the fact that you're using different language to reach everyone, I feel is the key and how exciting this is, especially going forward with our next generation, you know, our, 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 um, in uh, educating them, right? Um, so tell me about the film. Was it because you were parents and you wanted to do this or came up with this or how did this come, how did this inspiration come about for you to make this movie? We've made a, a few environmental films. We made 14 environmental films. This is the 14th one. Rebecca and I have both been involved in agriculture in different ways. She's a, how many generations? Our kids will be the seventh generation farming. Farmer. Farmer. Yeah. And I had been involved in biodiesel, driving the veggie van around the country in the 90s with unused cooking oil. So I ended up getting, you know, sucked into the world of, of what agriculture looks like in America. Uh, and I think we both came from different perspectives, but we both realized the importance of the soil. And the movie is really, it's about honoring the soil. It's about loving the earth. It's about giving back to the planet in a way that we haven't really talked about in the film before. There's been a lot of problems that we've explored in our environmental films and other people have explored with environmental, oh, there's this environmental problem, is that. But just right. a film just about what it means to honor and cherish and love and caretake earth. Earth, it has two meanings. You know, it means the planet that we're on, but it also means Earth, the soil. I think people are ready, all people around the world are ready for a message of love about Earth. I think people want to love Earth. I think people want to love again. I think it's been a hard year. It's been a hard time for a lot of people and people, people's hearts are hurting. You know, they're ready to reconnect with nature, reconnect with the big mama and have that earth, heart, love, spirit, energy again. And at its core, the film is about us reconnecting our humanity and the gut bacteria in our guts and all of the bacteria that are actually making our bodies run with the bacteria that are in the soil. And realizing that we're actually not different from the soil. We're one thing. And it's because we've separated ourselves in this very Western model of, you know, I'm a man, and you're a woman, and that's, you know, the earth, and we can spray the earth with chemicals and tear it up and rip it apart and build things on it and never think about how that affects us. And I think this year, everybody's thinking about health. <laughs> we're all realizing like, oh, wow, we're not very healthy as a society. Right. And maybe, maybe Kiss the Ground is meant to come out now because maybe it's like maybe it's time for us to think about wow our health has to do with the planet's health and if we're treating the planet poorly then how do we expect to be healthy and of course some disease is going to try and wipe us out because that's the way nature works when things aren't healthy you know a right. disease will, will take care of it so i think it's about coming back to realizing like green, alive, happy, earthworms, plants, lush microbiomes, bacteria. That's all the good stuff. That's the stuff that we want. And I think that's a universal message for all cultures and all people. 